Howdy guys, in the Pixel here. My apologies for not posting recently, but I do have a few Houdini courses in the works for YouTube specifically. Uh, one of them is on creating cliffs for Unity and level design. And the other is on how to create taxiways for an airport. But it's actually quite interesting because it also shows how to do like intersections for roads and stuff like that. So that'll be up here shortly. And I'm going to keep on going with the intro to VEX series. I just need to get back in. I've been working on a couple other projects, which brings me to the helicopter physics. So I'm currently working on a helicopter physics course here for Udemy. All right. And what it's going to cover are all of the fundamentals of flight for helicopters and how to set it all up inside of Unity, okay? And we're also going to get into things like weapons and uh, enemy AI. And by the end of the course, what we're going to do is create a whole level that's very similar to uh, something like uh, Desert Strike for the Super NES and uh, the Genesis, one of my most favorite games. It also, the course is also going to come with a cool little Huey model that we created. All right, comes with all the weapons. So we're going to hook up all these weapons and... We're going to get these side gunners working, a little bit of AI put into those guys. So I just wanted to show off, you know, where I'm currently at with the course. And I also wanted to show you, you know, the current physics and, you know, try to get some of your guys' opinion. So I'm going to hit play here. And um, what I'm going to do is I have my Xbox 360 controller hooked up. And I'm going to use the left and right bumpers to raise and lower the RPMs of the engine. Okay, and then I'm going to use the right stick to lift the collective. Now, the collective basically changes the pitch of the rotor blades. And this is what allows you to start producing lift for the helicopter. All right, and then the cyclic is over on the left stick. All right, and this is, allows you to go left and right. All right, and we can also go forward and back. Cool. All right, and we can also use the tail rotor to turn around. So basically, this is where I'm at currently with the physics. It's all based off of real world physics. So uh, I'm hoping that everyone will really enjoy how this is all turning out. Um, I'm about halfway through the course, and I, that's why I really wanted to start showing off the current physics here on YouTube because I wanted to get everyone's opinions about it, see what everyone thinks. It's really fun to fly so far, very controllable. Uh, it also gives you tons of insights on how to work with physics and unity and the rigid body, stuff like that. And the course is going to, like I said before, dive into some more gameplay elements like weapons and enemy AI and, you know, just how to keep score and stuff like that. So I wanted to show this off. Let me know what you guys think. I would uh, love the feedback for sure. So I will leave you guys here. Let me actually bring this guy in for a landing. All right. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Thanks so much.